Hello and welcome to this tutorial. This is simple block number 32, L32. So this one is, this one has a bit of a complicated sketch, but it looks like it's a single extrude if you do everything in that single sketch. So I actually show this part in two different ways. So I'll do it as a complete sketch and then we'll do it as a, a few simple sketches. So we'll have either a, a more complex sketch or just simple sketches. So let's do the first one of a simple sketch. So I'm going to sketch on the top plane. I'll make my origin here. Actually, it'll be on the bottom, but that point. So I'm going to add a center line in there just to help out. And I'm going to start sketching my shape. So I'm going to do the whole thing. I'm going to try and get my horizontal and verticals in there. So if I'm drawing a line and I go to the point, I can actually pull out an arc uh, as well. So I have the general shape. And I then want to use, I can use my mirror entities because what I want to do is I want to actually mirror all of these about my center line. So I select all of those lines. We already have that arc in there and I'm mirroring and that's the idea of the center line and I select my center line and now everything is mirrored. So you'll notice now that my arc isn't quite right so I can click and hold down the mouse button and drag it to that other endpoint. So now I have a fully closed sketch. It looks quite similar, all but that circle. So that circle's center point looks like it's right on the other center point. We assume that there's consent concentricity between our hole and our outside. So now I'm going to start adding some dimensions. So it looked like this was 20, a radius of 20. And this looked like it was a diameter of 20. And then I know 50, so I'm going to add that 50 here. So it scrunches everything together. So I have a 20 and a 10. So this is a 20, and this one is a 10. It's looking pretty good. Now I know that the width is. So my width here um, is going to be the same as, as this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that line and hold down the control and select that other line. And I will go collinear. And that makes that. So the only thing I don't know is the spacing on that. So if we look at the drawing, you can't actually tell, but it does look like these lines, this line and this circle are actually tangent. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that line and hold down the control and select the circle and I'll make that tangent. And with that, I am fully defined. So I then can extrude and that's a 20. So with that extrude, there's my part. So I can actually do this um, in, so we just completed it with a, um, uh, not a super simple sketch um, and a single extrude. So now what we'll look at is how to do this in a few different features. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually create a rectangle 50 by uh, 40. So I'm going to draw a rectangle and I still want my center point where I had it last time. So I'm going to hover over that line and eventually there's that orange box for the center, the midpoint of the line. So I'm going to select that, hold down the control and select my origin and we'll make those coincident. I'll add a dimension. So we know that's 40 and we know this is going to be 50. And I'm going to extrude that up 20. So very simple to start, just this shape. So now I'm going to sketch on this face and space bar and normal two. And I'm going to create a circle. I'm going to create it from the midpoint to the end point. 
And because I've selected the midpoint and the corner of the, I am already fully defined so I can finish my sketch. And it's fine that I'm extruding into something that's already there. So I'm going to switch my direction. And instead of going blind, I'm going to go something called up to surface. I'm going to select that bottom surface. So that's there. So now I'm going to create another sketch. And this one is another simple circle. So we'll just draw it there. So I'm going to select the circle and then hold down the control key and select that other arc and I'm going to make it concentric. Now I will make it the correct diameter and I am fully defined. So now I can, I'm not going to extrude that as a boss. I'm going to cut it and instead of blind, I'm going to go through all. And I've just added that. So I have a, a square, a circle and a circle so far. And now the last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to sketch on that top face again, go normal two, and we'll just add in one of these, and then we will mirror it. So I'm going to draw it. I know that it is 10 here this is the width, and then I know it's 20 from that base. And then when we discussed last time, I know that that line and that circle are actually tangent. So two dimensions and that relationship, I'm fully defined. So I will go with a cut. And again, I don't want to go blind. I want to go through all. And that's nice and easy. So the last thing I do, I'm going to use that mirror command. So the, the mirror face or plane, I'm going to choose this plane because it's right down the middle. And that's why choosing that midpoint on that first square is so important. And the feature that I want is that square. And now if we look at this part, it looks exactly like that one. Thank you.